All right, everybody, how's it going? We are at Port Aransas Jetties, and we're gonna try these um, LCD 956 sheep head leaders. We are at Port Aransas Jetties and we're gonna try these um, LCD 956 sheep head leaders. This is a five inch float and I made it six feet long to fish the jetty so the bait can go to the bottom and it won't get snagged in the rocks. So that's why you have this six foot leader right below your float. And of course, you know, your float's gonna indicate when you start getting bites also as well. If you like to see, you know, the float um, play a little bit, then there you go. But its main purpose is to be able to reach the bottom without going to the rocks. So that's what we're going to try out. We're going to do some live shrimp. Show them the live shrimp. Yeah, buddy. We're going to get a live shrimp. They're pretty big. Check it out. That's all it is everybody, so let's go ahead and cast it real quick. Show where it landed. So, what's happening right now is that the float's out there. And we're gonna see if anything bites it. Remember the line's six foot, or the shrimp is six foot under that float, under that bobber. It's a little windy, the, the wind is against us, but I want to try this channel side before I try the surf side. Alright everybody, so we catch something, we'll keep you updated. Here. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. That's bad. What is this? It's a sheep's head. All right, everybody, so this is what we came for, and this is what we caught. Check it out. You tell me if this, if this leader did not work, right? The LCD 956 sheep said leader. Um, we're gonna put this bad boy on a stringer. I don't suggest you all to pull the fish with the line, right? Because it's not initially made for that. It is strong enough, but you know, it's not initially made to, to drag it up, but when you have to pull it and just try your best, right? I'll be right back on uh, Look at my flow. 
see it? Yeah. Look, look. See it? Yeah. Once it goes underwater, it's over for him. If he doesn't jack me. Good size bro. Walk over here towards this walk over here, look. This one over here. Damn. Hell yeah. Be careful. From a bad day to a good day. Huh? It's a fat one, dude. Dude. That's the keeper. Put him down right here. Look, in between the backpacks, so it doesn't slip away. Yo. All right, everybody. So we have two, about 16, 116, 117 inch sheep head. We didn't, we've been doing pretty good with our LCD 956 sheep head leader with that bobber that I showed you off. So this is a live strip. I'm going to show you where I, where I hook it. This is a, um, I believe it's a 3 aught. It's either a three-out or a four-out octopus um, J-hook. Yeah, octopus J-hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. If you see the little black dot, that's the brain. You don't want to puncture the brain. So you want to get it in between the eyes and the black spots right there. So side to side. Make sure you pass your barbs, your hook through the other side because that's where your fish is going to get stuck in. Once you set that hook, and we're gonna go ahead and cast it out, everybody. All right, so we already started getting uh, some more consistent action. Um, the trick here is you got to make sure your shrimp is alive. That's what I that's what I just noticed right now. Once they already take a bite out of it and and it dies on you, try to change that shrimp out. Put put that put that old shrimp in some ice, conserve it so in case you run out of live shrimp. But go ahead and put another live shrimp on there because that's the key. They want these shrimp alive. That's how we've been getting these hits. And let me show you, I didn't cast too far out because that's the whole point of, of this six foot float. So you can cast it close to the rocks because obviously most of the time when your sheep's head fishing here at the jetties, they're gonna be out the edge. Look, I'm already getting a bite. They're gonna be in the edges. So you see where the rocks are at? Look where my float's at. And now they track, track me. All right, so if I catch if I catch something, I'll go ahead and uh, start recording again. I think it's too small. Fourteen inches. Too big. Too big. Bring her in. Be careful with the black stuff in front of you.
so it's it's already getting towards the end of the day and um, we're out here for a good two hours we got um, maybe about three undersized and we got three um, legal sizes check those out check those babies out and as you witnessed yourselves they were all caught on LCD 956 sheep head leaders right here baby good size we're gonna fillet them and we're gonna hopefully enjoy eating these suckers all right everybody do not forget to hit the subscribe button i hope you enjoyed the video it wasn't a long video but it was a little short um a little educational if you want some of those floats hit me up and um we'll get you covered everybody